In this lesson, we're going to construct a tangent to a circle from an exterior point. We're at 12.4D. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our compass and we're going to draw circle C and then we're going to locate P in the exterior of the circle. So it could be anywhere out here. You don't want it too far away because we're going to make a midpoint and we want our compass to be able to reach. So that's what we do. We make our midpoint. We, we're going to draw CP, just take your straight edge, and connect CP like that. Okay? Now we're going to construct M. That's going to be the midpoint of CP. So we did this before, but if you don't remember, all we have to do is open up our compass more than halfway, like that, and with our point on C, we make an arc, and then same setting, point on P, make an arc, and we can do it down here. You can actually make a very big arc going like this and make a very big arc from P going like that so that you'll have these arcs complete here. I just made little X's. And this is going to be the midpoint. That's M. We take our straight edge. We draw it through those intersections and we've got our midpoint of CP. So now that we've located the midpoint, we're going to center our compass on M. We're going to measure it the distance from C to M or from M to P, either way, because we know that's the midpoint. We're going to save this setting and we're going to put the point here on M and we're going to make our circle going all the way around. So it should go through C and it should go through P because we had our compass setting that distance, didn't we? Like that. And it'll intersect circle C at R and S. Now that we have the intersections R and S here, those are the tangent points. We draw line PR like that. See? And we draw PS like that. And they're tangent to circle C. So now we have constructed a tangent to a circle from an exterior point. Our exterior point was P, and these lines are tangent to circle C. You can try seeing if you can do this. It shouldn't be too hard if you have to rewind the video and go step by step, pause it at each step, I think you can do this. So that's it for 12.4. Our next video lesson is going to be 12.5a. We're going to be finding measures using tangents and secants. And the second part of 12.5 is going to be angle relationships in circles, and I'll have a nice chart for you. As always, I hope you're doing well, and I hope you have a great day. Keep trying, and I'll see you next time. Bye.